So in this video, I'm going to show you a very useful feature in Chrome that I was not aware of for helping me test responsive sites and media queries. Now, the reason this came about, the reason I found this is I was at UK Star. I was speaking to Angie Jones about responsive testing and the work that Apple Tools are doing and the, some of the um, screenshot type features that they're, they're bringing in, which all sound really interesting. And I was thinking, you know, when I'm doing my local exploratory testing, one of the things I want to do is be more aware of the implementation of the application so that when I'm testing different sized resolutions, I might want to test different layouts to see how they work. But I specifically want to test the ones that we have coded for. So in this site, how do I know what I have coded for in terms of responsiveness? Now in CSS, very often we do this through media queries. And I can see here that there's a media query being applied here that says when it's a screen and the minimum width is 768px and it's a container, the jumbotron, then have this formatting. So if we look in the CSS, I can see some of this stuff. But that's not the CSS. That's the DOM. That's the applied styles. If I look in the sources view and in the CSS and scroll through this and find uh, media... There we go, at media. Then I can see that this site has got specifically one for only screen and mid width. And then there'll be another one down here if I do a search for at media. Got another one there for a max width. One commented out. So really I've got two main media queries on my CSS. Then from the DOM view, I can see that I've inherited some from Bootstrap. And it'd be really useful for me to understand this, to know the different breakpoints that I should, that we've coded for, that we have decided when the screen is, when the resolution is a particular size, we will render this in a slightly different way. I should really be testing for that. I might then want to test for different responsive sizes to see, well, within this range, how does it look? So are our breakpoints set in the correct place? But I'm going to need some tool sets to do that. Now, initially, I went off and looked for tools. I found some Chrome extensions that might work. They were broken. I actually did a bug fix on one to get it working. You can see up here, this is a uh, Chrome extension called Responsive Inspector. If you download it from the Chrome store, you won't see this because this doesn't work in the Chrome store. But having spent all the time and effort getting the extension working, I thought, you know what I should have done? is check to see whether this is already built into the browser. Because when we're looking for um, tools, the first thing is I need to find a new tool. I need to go online, look for that tool, find it in the Chrome extensions. But very often, because browsers are getting better and better and they keep advancing and advancing and advancing, some of this stuff might be built in. So I eventually did a web search for Chrome DevTools um, media query uh, responsive testing or something and discovered that in the device mode, if I go into the responsive layout mode where I can adjust this, this is how very often we'll do responsive testing. I can set out specific devices if I want to. This is useful because it sends out the header as it's testing and it's fixed to a particular size. But if I go into responsive, then over here, which is something that I had never looked at before, I can see that I can show rulers. So I get a better idea for how the site is um, being laid out here, how it's being rendered. I can also show media queries. Now this is useful. Let me get rid of rulers. This is useful because I now have visible indication of the media queries that are applied on this page. Now in the CSS, I saw that I had one for only screen and max with 120px, which is this. And if I right click on this, I can reveal it in the source code and I can see it's coming from my CSS. I can click on this and it resizes to the right screen. Click on this, it resizes to the screen that triggers that particular breakpoint. But where does that breakpoint come from? Because that wasn't in my CSS because I only had two. So that's coming from um, Bootstrap because I'm using the Bootstrap library on my site. It's one of the things I need to get rid of at some point because I don't really need that. This one here revealing source code, and there is the other media query that we saw in the CSS. So that is useful. I've got an entire visibility here of 
all the breakpoints that have been identified and applied by the CSS that is in place. Min width, where's that coming from? Bootstrap. So Bootstrap has, when I'm thinking about my site, I'm thinking about it in terms of the CSS that I have added. But because I've used a framework, that framework has given me some other breakpoints that may impact um, how my site is laid out. And if I'm not aware of that, I may not have tested for that. And I, I certainly hadn't tested for that because I was mainly focused on the breakpoints that I knew that I had added. Now, what I find interesting about this view, this is built in, so it's great. I don't need any other tools. But conceptually, this is how I had envisaged my site. I don't really have such a, a distilled view um, in the the Chrome Dev Tools, so the fix that I've made to that extension might still be useful to some people, but in reality you don't need it because I can come in here and do a right click. So when we're testing, now the point of this is when we are looking at um, sites and websites, we can test it on multiple resolutions, but and we might go, and we have to do that because there's a risk that our site might be used on different devices and there's 10 devices that we've identified that we support and but we care about the, how does it render on 60 devices we might want to see it on these different things and if there were tools that did that for us automatically that would be a useful thing to see when we're doing exploratory testing very targeted testing we really want to cover the things that we have built i've built this site to be responsive for these particular resolutions so i should check for absolutely these particular resolutions and see how the site works on that basis. Then I realize that the framework has given me some other resolutions. I should really check how that works. Do I need all these different resolutions? Maybe it would be easier if I didn't have um, the breakpoints in, if it wasn't coming from Bootstrap, I can make those decisions. But now with this built-in functionality in Chrome, I have a way of setting the size of the screen so that I can much more easily see how the application works on the breakpoints that we've actually coded for that are coming in from the different parts of the um, CSS. So I'm going to experiment with this in more detail. It seems like a, a useful thing to bring into my um, testing. And I was completely unaware of this. Chrome has so many features built in. Firefox probably does too. Safari. Knowing the browser, the first place we should look when we're looking for, I need functionality X to help me test it. First place is look at the tools you already have to see if it exists. Then you won't spend a couple of hours hunting through for extensions and then fixing defects and other extensions because the functionality you need might be in your browser already.